from depression, say amen. amen. Who wants to be free from sadness, say praise the Lord. Praise Who God. wants to be free from poverty, say hallelujah. The Bible says that wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, it empowers its people to be free. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Ay, hindi ganyan ang palapak ng mga gustong lumaya. Praise the Lord. I want to be free from sickness. I want to be free from death. I want to be free from desperation. I am not called to be sad. I am called to be happy. Why? Because of the because the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. But sad to say, brothers and sisters, a lot of people, amen, they are free on the outside, but they are imprisoned on the inside. Amen. Why? Because there are a lot of people who are still imprisoned by fear. A lot of people are still imprisoned by stress. A lot of people you can see walking around, they are so free. They can do anything they want, they can go anywhere they want. But they are still imprisoned in desperation, loneliness, and frustrations. Amen. A lot of us, we are very, very frustrated about certain things in our lives. Amen. Marami po sa atin po mga kapatid, hindi mo lang nasasabi. Amen po ba? Pero malungkot na malungkot ka. Uh, desperate na desperate ka na. Para bang nawawalan ka na ng pag-asa. Sino po nakakaramdam niyan? Amen. Pag hindi ka nakakaramdam niyan, hindi ka tao. Amen po ba? Lahat po tayo mga kapatid, nakakaranas po ng mga ganyang mga uh, damdamin. Mga minsan nawawalan tayo ng pag-asa. Pero sabi ng ating Panginoon, Kumapit ka lang, umawa ka lang sa ating Panginoon. At ano man po mga kapatid, ang pinanghawakan natin sa ating Panginoon, ang Diyos ay tapat, ang Diyos ay buhay, ang Diyos ay mapagpala. Hindi ka niya papabayaan. The Lord will never forsake you. The Lord will never leave you. Why? Because Jesus Christ is always the solution. Amen. But before we go any further, the Bible says in Acts chapter 16, Verse 25, But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. Amen. The Bible says that Paul and Silas was in prison. Amen. But the prison gates were open and their chains was loose. Why? Because they prayed to God. Amen. Amen. A lot of people are in prison in fear. A lot of people are in prison with stress. <clears throat> a lot of people are in prison with desperation. A lot of people are hopeless right now. Why? Because we are not investing enough in prayer. Amen. Marami po sa atin po mga kapatid, hanggang ngayon malungkot ka. Hanggang ngayon para wala kang pag-asa. Why? Kasi kulang po tayo sa panalangin. A lot of Christians, brothers and sisters, are not praying hard enough. We are not very sincere in our prayer life. We are not investing in our prayer life. The Bible says in order for us to reap or make any withdrawals, we must make investments. And the number one investment we have to make before the Lord is prayer. Come on, put your, hand, put your hands together and praise God. <laughs> amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, amen, there is power in our prayer. But prayer is more than just muttering religious words. But it's, it's a connection with the Spirit of God. The Bible is trying to tell us that God does not need us to keep on repeating vain words that comes out of our mouths. But the Bible is trying to tell us, speak with God with all your heart, with all your soul. Amen. Why? Because prayer is a communication. Amen. Pag sinabing panalangin po mga kapatid, kumukonekta ka sa ating Panginoon. Amen. Before you can even download or upload anything in the computer, you have to be online. Amen. You have to be online. The Bible says that we become online if we are connecting with the Wi-Fi of heaven. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Prayer is also the key for Revival. Everybody say revival. All of us, we want revival. But revival will not just come, amen, if you are just uh, a Sunday service uh, attendee, amen. The Bible is trying to tell us 
that revival comes, amen, when you personally revive yourself, when you pray, amen. The key to success, the key to personal victory is prayer. Could you please turn to your neighbor and say, are you victorious? Or are you a failure? The difference between failure and victory is through prayer. And if we are not investing enough in prayer, if we are not depositing enough in prayer, if we are not spending more time in prayer, my brothers and sisters, a lot of us, we would not have personal victory. But the Lord assures us that every time you bend your knees, Every time you bend your knees and raise your voice and lift your hands to the air or put your hands together in prayer, the Bible says, you shall have personal victory. Everybody say personal victory. Gusto ko magkaroon ako ng tagumpay sa buhay ko. Sino ang gustong magtagumpay sa buhay niya magsabing amen? amen. Ang tagumpay ay matatanggap mo kapag ikaw ay nananalangin. Come on, put your hands and praise God. Prayer is a site where we build our lives first in the invisible world. Amen. If you want success, if you want things to overcome, if you want to uh, remove the hurdler for those in your blessing, the Bible is encouraging all of us that you first build your life through prayer. Amen. Amen. Because every time we bend our knees and talk to Jesus, things are happening because you are building something in your inner life. Prayer is a field of war where we are commanded where we command the authority given to us from God to unlock the forces more powerful than any that may rise against us. The Bible says that through prayer, you release the power of God. Who wants to release the power of God? Say amen. Therefore, we have to pray. Come on, put your hands and praise God. Hallelujah. But sad to say, my brothers and sisters, prayer dies within us so easily. Prayer dies within us so easily. And church nowadays are prayerless churches. A lot of people, we become powerless because we are not praying enough. We are not praying hard enough. We never, we want the blessing that will come from heaven, but we do not want to invest, amen, on, on communicating and releasing the power of God, amen. And the problem nowadays, a lot of Christians are powerless because they are not praying enough, because prayer is the oxygen of our faith. Amen. Everybody say oxygen. No living creature will ever survive if we have no oxygen. And oxygen is the, is, is the fuel for our life and our existence. And if we do not pray, we deprive ourselves from oxygen. And literally, we are suffocating ourselves. And a lot of Christians nowadays, they are suffocating in stress suffocating financially, suffocating with the different challenges in life. Why? Because we are prayerless Christians. Maraming, maraming pong mga Kristiyano ngayon, amen po ba, ay tila bagang nasasakal o tila bagang na, 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 napupuluputan po tayo mga kapatid, amen, ng, uh, ng, ng ahas sa ating mga leeg. At hindi na tayo na halos nakakahinga. Amen. Amen. Para hindi na tayo tayo maka-amen, mukhang may aasal sa ilaig mo. Amen? Sabihin mo sa akin mo, I cast that devil on your throat in Jesus' name. Lay hands mo yung katabi mo, I cast that devil that is choking your faith in Jesus' name. Amen? Release the amen on your throat in Jesus' name. Release the amen. Release the amen in this place in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Hindi tayo maka-amen what? Kasi may nakapulupot. Amen. Amen po ba? Amen means, yes, I believe in the truth. Amen. Yes and amen. Amen means, it is done. Amen. Amen, amen means, God is my defender. Amen means, release the power of God. Therefore, if we cannot amen, there's something stopping us spiritually not to declare the power of God in the amen. The amen is no other than Jesus Christ. That is why it is time for us to be free because we have the right to praise the amen. We have the right to praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in Acts chapter 16, verse 16, now it happened as we went to pray, then a certain slave, watch this, when Paul was deciding, has decided to pray, a certain girl, amen, possessed, possessed with a spirit of divination, amen. The spirit of divination is very similar to the spirit of the python. A python is a certain snake, amen that does not kill its prey using its venomous fangs, but it uses its strong muscles, amen, to coil around its victim and slowly suffocate that victim to death. And once it dies, the python will swallow the victim whole. Ang aang sawa po mga kabadid, amen po ba? Pag uh, ang sawa po, hindi po siya nakakapatay sa pamamagitan ng, uh, ng, uh, ng, uh, ng laso, ng kagat niya. Ay, may kamandag niya. Pero pumapatay siya kapag nalintisan ka at habang humihinga ka, amen po ba, hinihigpitan na hinihigpitan na hinihigpitan. Amen. The Bible is trying to tell us that the snake, amen, uh, the, uh, every time you exhale, it tightens up and every time you inhale you cannot inhale anymore why because every time you exhale it just grips harder grips harder and grips harder would you like to try this ex ex exercise amen i want you to make a deep breath okay so that's very very free but i want you to breathe this time and exhale only half of what you can breathe in like this and then we breathe again. But every time you breathe in, you only release a certain, uh, you only release half of the air that you have in here. Amen. Let's try this one. One, two. Release. Palahati lang. Again. Palahati lang. Again. Palahati lang. Again. Palahati lang. Again. Palahati lang. Every time you inhale, my brothers and sisters, amen, amen, every time you inhale and you exhale, every, uh, the, the, that is the opportunity of the phyton to just tighten up and tighten up and tighten up your ribcage and in the end, you will lose your breath. The Bible is trying to tell us that spirit of python is moving within our midst at the moment. We are suffering from spiritual suffocation why? Because we are not breathing enough. Why? Because we are not praying enough. Amen. Amen. And the fighter knows that once he choked you, once he chokes your faith, once he compromises the oxygen that comes into your, into your lungs, there's no way out but to be killed. Amen. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why, my brothers and sisters, we have to invest in prayer. We have to keep on praying. We have to, uh, we have to uh, uh, put ourselves in the spirit of prayer. Amen. What are the different aspects of prayer? First, prayer is commanded. Everybody say, it is a command that all of us, we must pray. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 14, verse 4, He commanded Judah to seek the Lord God 
of their fathers. Amen. Asa, who was the king of the Jews, amen, required, everybody say, required. required. God requires all of us to pray. Pinag-uutos ng ating Panginoon na lahat tayo ay manalangin. Amen. amen. And as a leader, my brothers and sisters, God has appointed me by the grace of God, amen, and designated an hour or 30 minutes before the service to pray. Why? Because this prayer unsuffocates us, releases us from that, from that spiritual python that is engulfing our neck. And a lot of Christians have no revival. A lot of Christians are very desperate. Why? Because we don't come in united prayer. Especially workers. Amen. Marami pong mga workers, marami mga Kristiyano, marami mananampalataya, tinatamad tayo mag-devotion. Tinatamad tayo mag-pray. We feel very lazy in our prayer life. We do not think devotion is important. But you don't realize there is a snake gripping your neck when you do not pray. Amen. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. That is why, my brothers and sisters, it is commanded. When you say the Lord commands, it is not an option. Because it is by law that we have to pray. It is a command. It is like in Singapore. Amen. You don't smoke inside the MRT. Why? Because it is commanded that it's prohibited to smoke inside the train. Amen. The Bible is also telling us that there are certain things that is not dependent on your choice. Prayer is not an option. It is a commandment. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah, praise God. <clears throat> Secondly, the Bible says, Amen. We must be separated to pray. The Bible says in Ezra chapter 6, verse 21, Then the children of Israel who had returned to the captivity ate together with all who had separated themselves from the field of the nations. Everybody say separate. The Bible says, in order for us to separate ourselves from the filth of the nation, we need to pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible is trying to tell us that in order for us to avoid filthy things, we need to invest in prayer. Nakakaiwas tayo sa mga maduduming mga bagay kung tayo po ay nananalangin. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is being downloaded in us. And we need time to download the full power of the Holy Spirit. But the problem is, my brothers and sisters, we don't stay too long downloading. Amen. I remember I was trying to download a video. Amen. And it took time. Amen. Before that movie can be downloaded through the internet. Amen. But the problem is that we don't spend enough time downloading the presence of God. Why? Because we cut off the Wi-Fi so soon. Amen. Amen. We don't invest enough in our prayer life. That is why God cannot impart His power to us. He cannot impart His hope in us. He cannot impart His love in us. He cannot impart His gentleness in us. He cannot impart uh, long-suffering in us. He cannot impart the power of God. He cannot impart the goodness of God, the prosperity of the Lord. We cannot receive it. Why? We unhook the Wi-Fi so soon. Why? Because my phone rang, because my friend is doing this, my friend is coming, I need to do this, I need to do that. We got a lot of excuses. Why? Because that is the, that is the mode of the devil to distract us, especially when we pray. Because the devil knows 
that once we have invested in prayer, prayer gives life. Prayer gives power. Prayer gives hope. Prayer gives the breath of God. Come and put your hands and praise the Lord. God will breathe into us new hope. God will breathe into us hope. God will breathe into us prosperity. God will breathe into us abundance. Why? Because we have invested our time and effort in prayer. Come and put your hands and praise the living God. Oh, you can go ahead and praise your God. God breathes into us. Alam nung Panginoon, hinang-hina ka na, lupay-pay ka na, mamamatay ka na. Kung hindi mo pa ibubukas ang bibig mo sa pagpupuri sa ating Panginoon, isang araw matigas ka na, ayaw ng Diyos mamatay, ayaw ng Diyos mamatay ang pag-asa mo. God wants you to live, God wants you to be strong, God wants you to be blessed. God wants you to open your mouth and pray. God wants you to lift up your hands and cry unto God. God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. But where is your communication? Where is our communication to God? And that is what's killing us. We are running out of oxygen. And I speak not as, a, not as a hypocrite. God also rebukes me. Because I also need to invest more time in prayer. Why? Prayer gives birth to things. Prayer gives birth to things. God releases the good things in our lives if we birth it to prayer. Na ipapanganak mo yung mga magagandang pangako ng Diyos sa ating buhay kung tayo ay nananalangin. Come on, put your hands and praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thirdly, the Bible says in, in Colossians chapter 4 verse 12, Epapras, who is one of you, a bond servant of Christ greets you always laboring, laboring fervently for you in prayer. What I mean by this? Prayer is labor. Everybody say, prayer is labor. Amen. When we talk about labor, prayer is work. Turn to your neighbor and tell him or her, prayer is work. You have to go to work. Are you working? Amen. Are you working? Who's working tomorrow? Say amen. We go to work. And what do you expect when you work at the end of the month? You get your blessing. But if you don't work, amen, what will give you the blessing? You never work. The Bible is trying to tell us we want the blessing but we never work. If your physical bosses or, 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 or masters would not pay us if we never work, why would we expect God to bless us if we would never work? It's very clear. The Bible says we have to we have to labor, we have to work. Amen. Amen. It's a it's a job. Amen. It has to be done. Irregardless of your mood, irregardless of your condition, irregardless of whether you have or not, whether you're in the mood or not, prayer is work. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Real prayer cannot be carried out in a half-hearted, distracted way. Pray, real prayer is exacting. Real prayer is exhausting. Amen. Amen. Real prayer must have...
have, you must feel some labor. Amen. What do you feel at the end of the month? What do you feel at the end of the week? We feel exhausted. Why? Because we have work. Napagod ka. Pinawisan ka. Nahirapan ka. Nag-struggle ka. Why? Kasi nagtrabaho ka. Pag tayo nag-pray, at hindi mo naramdaman na pagod ka, hindi ka nag-work. You never work. Lord, amen, Lord. Padala mo yung pera. Please, amen, Jesus. Uh, tired na. Oh, Lord, send the money right now. Jesus, hey! Oh, I'm tired, eh. You never work, man. How, how many hours do we work in a day? Eight hours plus overtime. And sometimes we even have to work over the weekends. Then you're really tired. Amen? Amen. And what do you deserve when you work? You get rewarded according to your work. If you work with overtime, amen, your boss will reward you accordingly. But the Bible is trying to tell us, we never labor in our prayer. We don't, we, 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 we find uh, one minute is too long for us. We spend more time on Facebook. We spend more time on Twitter. We spend on more time on watching uh, Pinoy Big Brother. We spend more time on, 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 on telenovelas. We spend more time on hours and hours of uh, watching television and YouTubing and, uh, and, and, and chit-chatting. Amen. But we cannot spend one whole hour with the Lord. And guess why you're weak? Guess why you're desperate? Guess why we cannot, you don't have a revival in your, in your praise? Guess, guess, guess why we are, we, we, are, we are so down? Why? Because we never labor. God will not reward. Why? Because I never even see you sweat. Amen. Amen. When you go to the gym, Amen. Normally, you need to stay for 20 minutes on the gym or a treadmill. Amen? Amen. It's like going to the gym and never even having a sweat. What? Oh, tired already. <laughs> Amen? The traffic may be very tired now on the go home already. Amen? We've we, we, we never labored. How do you expect to slim down? How do you expect to get healthy again if you never labored in the treadmill? Am I making sense? Yes. The Lord tries to make, give us understanding because there will be no faith if there is no understanding. Amen. But once you have understood, it is time to apply. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Prayer is a discipline. When you go to the gym, when you go to work, your, your office boss or your office manager will ask you, you got to be at work at 9 o'clock. Amen. Is that an option or a command? Amen. It's a command. Amen. You got to be there at 9 o'clock. Amen. But if you don't come there at 9 o'clock and you're always late, your boss will show you the good. Why? Because we never work. We don't take our work seriously. Amen. And the sad part, my brothers and sisters, we take our work very seriously, but we take our faith not so seriously. And the Lord is a jealous God. Amen. The Lord is a jealous God. If you find, if he finds your work more important than him, guess what? One fine day, you will be struggling financially. Why? Because you invested more on your work rather than on prayer. If the Lord, if the Lord sees that you're investing more time on on uh, on your on, on on worldly things, amen. And we don't invest enough time on our prayer. The Bible says that. We would be on the losing end. Why? 
because we find prayer not so important. But the Lord is trying to tell us and enlighten us today that prayer is your oxygen. This is your oxygen. Man can live four days without food and water, but you cannot survive five minutes without oxygen. You cannot, we cannot. And we are not surviving right now because we are not praying long enough. We are not seeking the face of the Lord. A lot of people, we pray, but we seek the hand of God instead of seeking the face of God. Lord, I need this, I need that, bless me with this, bless me with that, amen, in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Why? Because we are just seeking the hand of the Lord. The hand of God is the hand of power. The hand of God is the hand of mighty. The hand of God is the hand that blesses us. But the Lord says, David says, seek God's face. In fact, we are seeking that. We will seek your face, oh mighty God. Why do we sing that song? Why? Because God wants us to seek His face. God wants us to seek His presence. God wants us to seek His glory. God wants to impart something to us so that we will be able to download our frustration, download our sadness, download our hopelessness, download our loneliness. We have to download so that the Lord can upload the power of God, can upload the goodness of God. And all of us, we have to labor. We have to labor. Amen. Amen. Prayer is not exercise, it's like work. We need to develop stamina. Everybody say stamina. stamina. All of us, we must develop spiritual stamina. Amen. If you can stay for 10 minutes in the treadmill, your next visit to the gym, you must stay a little bit longer than 10 minutes. Amen. Why? Because you are progressively improving yourself. You're challenging yourself. Amen. Amen. If you can only carry two pounds, you don't stay with two pounds for two, two years. You move to the next level, which is four pounds, and then to six pounds. You improve your stamina. You improve your strength. And the Lord is trying to tell us, we cannot overcome the enemy. We cannot push back. Or we cannot reclaim what the enemy stole. Why? Because we don't have a spiritual strength. Amen. Amen. Whatever the devil stole from us, we must recover. If the devil destroyed your marriage, in the name of Jesus Christ, I will arise and walk. Why? Because the Lord is with me, the Lord has appointed me, and greater is He that is in me, that is He that is in the world. And whatever it is that the devil is trying to kill, steal, and destroy, it will not prosper. Why? Because greater is He that is in me. Yeah. And we can make such declarations if we are spiritually strong. Yeah. You can recover. Everybody say recover. God does not want us to give up our marriages. God does not want us to give up our blessing. God does not want us to give up our hopes and dreams and plans and aspirations. God is not in the business of giving up. God wants us to receive, recover, and, and, and be blessed. But we need to start, we need to, uh, uh, we need to reignite that prayer life. We need to invite the spirit of prayer in us to help us and strengthen our inner man. Amen. So that we would have a stronger spiritual sense. We would have, we would develop a stronger spiritual power so that we would keep on believing, keep on hoping, keep on trusting the Lord. Why? Because your inner man has been reinforced through prayer. And prayer builds the inner man. It builds you. Amen. Who wants to be built? Say amen. amen. It is time to develop a spiritual stamina, strength, and fitness so that we can be sustained. Amen. 
The Bible says we have to endure all things, but we cannot endure things if we are not strong. And strength does not come from a magical way when I move of my hand. Amen. The power comes when we have physical or personal revival through prayer. Come on, put your hands and praise the Lord. Prayer, amen, is also, the Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 28, but for but from there you will seek the Lord, your God, and you will find Him if you seek Him. Amen. Who wants to find the glory of God? Say amen. amen. Who wants to find the presence of God? Say praise the Lord. Praise the Bible says we have to seek the Lord with all our heart and soul. Amen. We seek the Lord, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 29. We seek the Lord when we invest in prayer, seeking Him completely. Amen. In the context of people being scattered to the nations due to their infidelity to God and being under His punishment, Moses tells them that we will abide to connect with God if we seek the Lord with all our heart and soul. This means that when we purify our hearts to seek God in a singular soul, we have a heart for no other love above, above Him and then we will find the Lord. The Lord is trying to tell us that when you seek the Lord, we have to seek the Lord with all our heart. Amen. Amen. We cannot seek the Lord half-heartedly. Because if you want to be saved, God is not just trying to save your hand, save your other hand, save your other foot, or save your head. God wants to save the whole of us when we are sinking. A lot of people are sinking. Why? Because they don't realize that prayer really works. And we have to keep on praying. We have to keep on bugging the Lord. We have to keep on knocking until we knock down that door. Why? Because prayer works. Come and put your hands and praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. And when we pray, my brothers and sisters, we have to pray continuously. Acts chapter 4 verse 42 And they continued steadfast in the apostles' doctrine, fellowship, and in breaking of the bread, and in prayer. What do by this? Prayer is a commitment so that we will develop a spiritual momentum. Amen. It is not enough that we just pray in the morning, we never pray in the afternoon, or we never pray in the evening. We must have a chain of prayer. It must be continuous prayer. Until the Lord releases such blessing, you do not stop. When you are praying for your blessing, you don't stop bugging the Lord. You don't stop knocking at His door until you receive your blessing. You do not give up. Why? Because my child is so important. This job is so important. My life is so important. And my life is in your hands. Jesus, please forgive me. Jesus, please provide for me. Jesus, please move. Ayaw hina ng palakpak po natin. Wala kang kamumay momentum sister. Amen. Talagang kulang ka talaga sa prayer lot. Subukan mo kaya na itaas ang, palak ang palakpak mo sa ating Panginoon Pabo. Magugulat ka. Lalakas ka. Why? Because there's power in praising God. Paul and Silas, they praise and pray the Lord. Then the heavens open up. Then there was an uh, there, then there was a mighty earthquake. 
that shook the foundations of the prison and set these two people free. Why? Because they praised and they prayed to God. A while ago, we praised the Lord, but what we need right now is prayer. Amen. Prayer releases the power of God. Why? Because Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3, Call upon me, call upon Jesus, call upon the Lord, and the Bible promises, I will answer. The Bible assures us that whatever you need today or this coming week, if you would pray with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your faith, in the name of Jesus Christ, you will receive it. Why? Because the Lord will answer you. Who wants an answer from the Lord? Say amen. Who wants blessing to come this week? Not this, not next year. This week, say praise the Lord. If you want blessing right now, go and call upon the name of your God. Because the Bible says, dial his number. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. If you will call, if you will just call, I am waiting on the other side of the telephone. I am waiting for you. Amen. Hinihintay ka ng Diyos na manalangin. Hinihintay ka ng Diyos na humingi. Ang Diyos ang nag-aantay sa'yo. Naiintindihan mo ba yun? Tagalog ka yun. God is waiting for you to make that call. Jesus, I'm really in trouble now. Jesus, I really need that money right now. Jesus, I need you to touch my boss right now. Jesus, could you please send that blessing right now? Right now! And the Bible says, Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you. When you pray, God will answer you, and he will show you. What do I mean by this? Who wants a showtime? Say amen. amen. Who wants to really see that the power of the Most High God will be displayed in your life? Sino ang talagang gusto mo makakita? Gusto mo mo ramdaman yung pera ang hinihintay mo. Yung panalangin ang matagal mo nang pinagpapray. Ayaw ng Diyos is there. Kaya nang hihina ka, nangulupay-pay ka. Ayaw niya ang gusto ng Panginoon. Lord, hindi pwede mo ko hindi i-bless. Hindi pwede, Lord. Alam mo naman ang pangangailangan ko. Mahigpit ang pangangailangan ko. My need is just so great that you would deny me. I do not accept your denial. I will keep on ringing this phone. I will keep on ringing this phone. I will keep on SMSing you. I will keep on emailing you, brother. I will keep on telling you, Lord God, that Lord, I need you to answer me. And the Lord said, He will show you great and mighty things. There is a promise. There is a promise. You never call. You never call. But the moment you call, God says, I will show you great and mighty things. Who knows? Your biggest financial blessing is just waiting at the corner. Who knows? The greatest revival will come once you are praying in Jesus' name. Yes. Who knows that whatever you have been waiting for so many years, all you need to do 
is dialless number. And God will provide. Come on, let's all stand up and praise the Lord. Let's stand up and praise the Lord. We will seek your face. Almighty God, I will. Yes. Amen. Are you ready to sing? Yes. Ayaw, mga singers, ang gana ba ko tayo magpuri sa ating Panginoon? Yes. We will seek oh, your face. We are ready. 